I know for a fact that if you're seeing this video, you like topwater fishing. Who doesn't? I know I do. Today I want to talk about buzz baits, and there's a couple of different kinds of buzz baits that are out there now. I want to show you my favorites. So the one, this is called a Nichols Reflex Buzz Bait. I really like it. Now, when it comes out of the box, I want to show you this. See how the blade is actually hitting the head? What you want to do, you have to tune these a little bit when you first get them, but it's kind of a multi-purpose buzz bait. So if you bend this out just a little bit and have it spin to where it just ticks that head just a little bit, it's kind of like a clacker style buzz bait without the clacker on top. If you don't want it to be making that extra noise, just bend it out a little bit further, then it spins and it doesn't make any noise at all. But this reflex buzz bait, this is the one that I use. Typically I use a half ounce unless I'm in a really specific situation because a half ounce, I can cast it further. I can cast it more accurate. Now, if I'm really, really skinny, shallow water, or I want it to go really, really slow, I may go down as far as a quarter, but most of the time I'm throwing a half ounce. Dark colors like this one, this is JT's title blue fleck from Nichols. This I think is the, uh, it's white and sharp, but with a gold blade, I think they call that the bombshell shad. But anyway, white and chartreuse or a dark colored one, whether it's this, this title blue fleck from Nichols or whether it's a black one or whatever. But those are basically about the only two colors I use, but this is my absolute favorite buzz bait for that. And then the other style of buzz bait is what's getting really popular right now. This is from Dirty Jigs. This, see that? Looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Let me show you what you can do with this. I like to take a net bait, bait fuel toad. You can use a lot of other different kind of, of uh, toads out there on the market. I like this bait fuel one. But you take this toad and you can slide it up on here. So instead of having a skirt, like your typical standard buzz baits do with a skirt on it like this, you put this toad on it. Not only are you getting two more appendages back there that's making even more commotion, but it's actually heavier and you can cast it a lot more accurate and you can actually skip this. You can skip it up under overhangs, up under boat docks. But what I like to do is I take my toad and I kind of lay it next to it, you know, and see exactly where I like it to come out. Most of the time I like to, it to come out almost all the way back there to the very back of the frog, almost all the way in the back. So what I'll do is I'll thread it up on there. I want to try to go, I want to try to keep it as straight as possible when I'm on there because I don't want it to really track to one side or the other most of the time. Now, if you do want it, like say you're fishing seawalls or something and you want it to track kind of crooked, then you can, you can bend this a little bit sideways. But what I like to do is run it almost all the way down to the back. And now I wet that just a little bit so this will slide up over there. And you slide that whole BF toad all the way up over top of that. Now look at that thing. I mean, is that not cool looking or what? And I mean, it, you, can, you can bend that out so it can clack against that or not clack against it either way. And then you got your legs back here going brrr. But see how you got this flat, pretty flat surface right here? Believe it or not, this skips really, really easy. It's actually pretty heavy. This was a half ounce weight on this one. And then, you know, the, the BF Toad, I mean, it weighs, it's pretty heavy, it's thick plastic but that hook's really sticking out of there. So when he eats it, he eats it good. It's a real solid hookup ratio, but you can skip this thing pretty easy, believe it or not. And of course the BF toad, it's already got bait fuel in it. So you know, you're going to be leaving a little scent trail every time you're making a cast too. So these are my favorite kind of buzz baits. Like I said, we've got the toad style buzz bait that threads up on there, the regular skirted style buzz bait. This one's from Dirty Jigs. This one's from Nichols. There's a bunch of them out there, but these two are my absolute favorites.